Hello kids, welcome to Kids Connect. Today we're going to be meditating about Lent. Beautiful journey. You, all of you, with your families and all of us here at CCRC, we're going to be meditating about the passion of Christ. So call a friend, bring your parents, sit and listen and enjoy the journey. Lent, thinking about Jesus, thinking about the Father and His love for you in the cross. God bless you. It's nice to see you again. We have a wonderful program ahead for you. I hope you enjoy it. And I always want you to be happy and always remember to keep Jesus in your heart and always ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Enjoy the program and have lots of fun. God bless. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent, the weeks leading up to Easter where we focus on returning to God. In the first reading, the prophet Joel writes that the Lord calls to us. God says, return to me with your whole heart. What does this mean? Well, sin separates us from God. We all sin and separate ourselves from God by putting other things before him. We love TV, and chocolate cake, and good grades. These are all good things, but we should not make these things the most important things in our heart, when really the most important thing in our lives should be God. We are called to love the Lord above all things, but we often think about other things more than Him. That's why we are separated from God and need to return to Him, because He loves us so much, and He wants to be close to us. We are called to repent. Repent means to think about your sin, to feel sorry, and to ask God for forgiveness. God is crazy in love with you. To be with Him, we are called to change how we act and how we think. In today's Gospel, Jesus calls us to do good deeds for God. We shouldn't just be good so that other people will think we are really nice people. No. 
Jesus said that we should do good so that God will see and God will reward us. This Lent, we should repent, tell God we are sorry for our sins, and come back to Him by doing good. Hi, my name is Megan. I'm a CCRC kid and I'm nine years old. For Lent, I'll be fasting on sweets and treats. Hi, Hi guys. guys. I'm going to be telling you what Jesus is to like to us. Like to us. Um, Jesus to me is a father from heaven. He keeps us away from all the sins. And he doesn't try, he tries to not let us get hurt. And he protects <laughs> us at night. Jesus, even though Jesus, even though people still be rude to Jesus, Jesus still loves everyone in the world. But even though people are still mean, but he still loves everyone. And he loves everyone to pieces. Even you. Even the people that are already in heaven. And I have one more thing. Um, Jesus to me is when, even though our parents cuddle with us and they leave and we're still scared of the dark, he's always there to protect us. Bye. Bye. What's your first name? Um, Sloan. Do you know who Jesus is? Yes. Who is he? He created us. What happens every year on Ash Wednesday? Um, we do Lent. Do you know how much Jesus loves you? Yes. Can you show me? Not much. Let Jesus know how much you love him. I'm going to him a lot! A hundred percent! Hi, my name is Lucas, and I'm going to give up blueberry muffins for a Lent. Jesus, a big kiss and show him how much you love him. Hello, everybody. My name is Galilee, and I'm going to give up yelling at my brothers for Lent. Hi, my name is Antonio, and I'm going to give up eating plantain chips for Lent. <laughs> Do you love Jesus? Yes. Hi, my name is Teresa, and this year for Lent, I'm going to be giving up fast food. This year for Lent, I'll be giving up chocolate for 40 days. Do you know who Jesus is? Um, Jesus is someone who, he lives in heaven, he looks after us, and he loves us much. Do you know how much he loves you? Um, he loves us bigger than the universe. How much do you think he loves you? Bigger than this world. If Jesus was right in front of you, what would you want to tell him or show him how much you love him? Um, I would want to, um, I would want to tell him that I, I enjoy learning about him in school and I enjoy doing questions about him. What are you going to give up for Lent? I'm going to give up eating chips for Lent. Hi, I'm Maddie, and I'm giving up sugar for Lent. Elijah, do you know who Jesus is? Yes, he's the Son of God, and he <laughs> saved us from all the sins in the world. Okay. Uh, do you know how much he loves you? He loves me with his whole heart. And soul and all the hearts in the world. How how big is that? How much how much do you love? Like Can you show me? From a, from eternity to heaven back to earth. Oh wow. And um if he was right here right now, yeah. what would you tell him? Or or can you show me how much how much you it's love him? I love him with my whole heart and soul and all the hearts in the world. Thank you, Elijah. Hi, Noah. 
Hi. Do you know who Jesus is? Yes. He is the Son of God. He is the way maker. He is a miracle worker. And He's the promise keeper. Do you know that He loves you? Yes, He loves me with His whole heart and soul. Do you know who Jesus is? Yes, He is the Son of God. How much do you think He loves you? I think He loves me very much because He cares about me and my family and whenever I sin, He forgives me. For Lent, I'm going to be giving up video games. What is your name? Sever. Do you know who Jesus is? Um, he's the creator of, a, creator of all living things and all non-living things. What happens every year on Ash Wednesday? You start Lent and you get ashes. Do you know how much Jesus loves you? Um... Let Jesus know how much you love him. I love him 1,000 times. How many days are there in Lent? There are 40 days in Lent. Hi, Isaiah. Give Jesus a kiss. Good boy. Who is this? Jesus. Where does Jesus live? In my heart. The Way of the Cross for Kids. together gather all your friends as we follow Jesus on his way Jerusalem, the year 33. Hi, everybody. My name is Christine. I'm Eva. My name's Joseph. And I'm Enrique. Do you know why we're here? No. Well, I'll tell you. Come here and listen very carefully. We are here so we can follow Jesus on his way to the cross. You mean the stations of the cross, right? Exactly. The Stations of the Cross are the Passion of Jesus. What does Passion mean? It means the suffering Jesus went through for us. So, are we going to pray the Stations of the Cross? That's right. You see, there are 14 Stations of the Cross altogether. Each station is something that happened on the way. Come on, let's go to the first station. Now we're at the first station. We're going to see how Jesus was condemned to death.
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. They're going to condemn Jesus to death. He was handed over to Pilate so he would send him to be crucified. Who's Pilate? He's the Roman procurator. The boss of the Romans? That's right. People of Jerusalem, today is your feast day, and it's customary to free one prisoner. So tell me, who do you want me to release? Jesus, who is called the Messiah, or Barabbas? Free Barabbas! What shall I do then with Jesus? Crucify him! Crucify him! Why, what crime has he committed? Crucify him! Crucify him! I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your responsibility. His blood is on us and is on our children. Jesus hasn't said a word the whole time. He's ready to die for our sins without complaining. Do you remember the last time someone laughed at you? Maybe you felt sad or angry. Yeah, I got really mad. Well, I'm not going to let anyone laugh at me. No one wants anyone to laugh at them, but you know what? Even if people do laugh at you, the most important thing is to forgive them. I have to forgive people who laugh at me? That's right. You shouldn't tell them off because it's not right. But you should forgive them. Just the way Jesus always forgives us. At the second station, we see how Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Look at him. He's going to die for us. And he's doing it because he loves us so much. Jesus wanted to suffer. And do you know why? To show us that suffering isn't something bad. It's a great treasure. That thing's so heavy. You're telling me. Do you see what I see? That's incredible. He's grabbing hold of the cross without being told. I don't understand. It's like he wants to pick it up. It's as if he loves the cross. Jesus picked up the cross without hesitation. So, whenever you have to help at home, or study, jump up and do it right away without being lazy and with a smile on your face. Just like Jesus with the cross. For example, if my mom asks me to help her wash the dishes, I'm happy to do it. Or if she asks me to help feed my little brother, I do it without complaining. sitting up here to get a better view. At the third station, we'll see how Jesus fell to the ground for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Come on, walk faster. You wanted to carry that cross yourself, didn't you? <laughs> The cross is very heavy. It's the weight of our sins. But Jesus stands up again and holds on to it even harder. Have you ever lost when you were playing a sport? I have, and it really got me down. Well, don't give up. Just like Jesus. Right! 
ask Jesus to help you and try even harder. Jesus teaches us to get up again when something goes wrong and to keep on trying. Throughout your life, you'll see plenty of things that take a big effort. When something doesn't turn out the way you want, ask Jesus for help and try again. At the fourth station, we'll see how Jesus meets with his mother, the most blessed Virgin Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have, have redeemed the world. My son, what have they done to you? Jesus has come here to obey the will of God the Father, and the Blessed Virgin Mary accepts God's will. Do you remember what she said to the angel? I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to thy word. Have you ever thought about all the ways your mom cares for you? Well, I guess not. Well, she does these things because she loves you. You could thank her now and then. Good idea. I never thought of thanking my mother. But you're right. Thanks, Mom. Thanks? For what? For everything you do for me. You're welcome. I do it with all my love. In the fifth station, we see how Simon of Cyrene helps to carry Jesus' cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Hey, hurry up. Can't you go any faster? I want to get this job finished. Hey, you! Uh, me? Yeah, you. You in the brown tunic. What's your name? My name is Simon of Serene. Come here and help him carry the cross. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. Simon helped Jesus to carry the cross. We should always help other people. For example, when you go shopping with your mom and she needs help carrying the bags. That's a good example even when it's hard work. Right, I never like carrying the groceries. You can also help her by clearing the table after dinner. That's great. When you help your mom, you're helping Jesus because he said, what you do for others, you do for me. At the sixth station, Veronica wipes Jesus' face. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. I can't bear it. I'm going to wipe away the blood and the sweat. What? Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. I'm going to wipe Jesus' face. Forget it. Go back to your place or we'll whip you back there. Look! Jesus' face is printed on my veil! Jesus left the image of his face on Veronica's veil. You know, this always reminds me that we should share our things with other people. You mean I should let my friends play with my toys? That's right, but they're mine! It's just, if I lend my friend my bike, I won't be able to play with it myself. Jesus was generous because he gave everything. He even gave his own life. And if Jesus gave his life, don't you think we can share our toys or our bicycles for a little while? Jesus is an example of generosity. Joseph, can I borrow your bicycle? 
Sure, here it is. Thanks. You're a good and generous friend. At the seventh station, we'll see how Jesus falls to the ground for a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. What's this? Lying on the ground again? Move it! We don't have all day! Jesus fell for a second time, but he got to his feet again, holding tight to the cross. We're just children, and that's why Jesus asks us to make an effort to do the little things in life. Right! Like getting up first thing in the morning. Ah. Or doing your homework, even if you don't feel like it. If you do them cheerfully, these little things are a great treasure in the eyes of God. At the eighth station, we'll see how Jesus consoled the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. I can't watch this. Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. Jesus is suffering for the sins of all mankind, including mine and yours. It's as if everyone's sins had turned into Jesus' cross. And does Jesus always forgive? Yes. When we confess, it's Jesus himself who forgives us through the words of the priest. Jesus is so good, he always forgives us. And that's why we should also forgive people if they hurt us. Isn't that right? That's right. We should forgive just like Jesus forgives us. At the ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Look, Jesus is leaving the city and heading for that hill over there. Do you know what it's called? It's called the Hill of Calvary. Jesus is very tired. How many times are you going to fall over? At this rate, we'll never get there. Come on, on your feet! Jesus stood up again, holding tight to the cross, to walk the last yards to the top of the hill of Calvary. You know, when you do something bad, don't give up hope. Go to confession whenever you need to. Jesus will forgive your sins and will give you his grace so you can keep going. What's grace? Well, you see, grace is like the gas you put in a car. It's the strength God sends us so we can live like true Catholics. At the 10th station, the soldiers took away Jesus' clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Hey, look, he's wearing a seamless tunic. You're right. That would fit me perfectly. All right, we'll throw dice for it to see who gets it. Do you remember how Jesus was born? He came into the world in a humble stable with nothing, and he's going to die the same way. They didn't even leave him his tunic. He only had his cross. Jesus showed us that material things are not important. You mean like video games? Or basketballs? Exactly. What's really important is your soul. The richest person isn't the one who has the most toys or the most money. It's the one whose soul is clean and full of love for God and others. This is the greatest treasure we can have. At the 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Look, 
They've already nailed Jesus to the cross. Next to him, they've crucified two thieves. You can see how they treated Jesus like a thief or a murderer. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. What did he say? I think he said he'd forgive us. I don't understand. We're putting him to death and he forgives us. I've never seen anything like it. Hey, aren't you the Messiah? Well, if you are, save yourself and us. I see it was all a lie. You're not the Messiah. Be quiet. You and I are here because we're thieves. But this man has done nothing wrong. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. See how good Jesus is? One sign of repentance is enough for him to take this man to heaven with him. Jesus teaches us to forgive. Yeah, that's what we say in the Lord's Prayer, remember? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. If someone asks you for forgiveness, forgive them from the heart, like Jesus did. At the twelfth station, we see how Jesus died on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Do you see that? Yes, I do. King of the Jews. And look at him, nailed to a cross like a common thief. He is a fraud. Hey, you! Jesus! Aren't you the king of the Jews? If you are, then get down from that cross. Right. Look at your king. Aren't you the son of God? <laughs> It will soon be over. Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. Did you hear that? Jesus gave us his mother. He wanted the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of all mankind. I'm thirsty. Dip a sponge in vinegar and let him drink from it. It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Jesus has died. Listen, I want to tell you something very important. Listen carefully. Imagine you're carrying a backpack. Every time you do something bad, it's as if you put a stone in it. Eventually, the pack would weigh so much that you wouldn't be able to walk. Your back would ache. Well, Jesus wanted to take all the stones out of the packs of all the men and women in the world. And do you know what he did with the stones? He put them in his own pack. Imagine what Jesus' pack would weigh. Well, that is the passion. The cross symbolizes that backpack. When Jesus died, all those stones disappeared. Do you understand now? Jesus died on the cross so that we can travel to heaven without that load of stones. Each time we confess, does Jesus take the stones out of our backpack? Yes, that's why we should be sure to thank him and be happy. At the 13th station, we'll see how Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Let us take Jesus' body. We've prepared a new tomb for him. I'm sorry. I can't let just anyone take a prisoner's body. You'll have to talk to the governor. I have done so. Here is the order. Now let me take Jesus so we can bury him with the dignity that he deserves. I didn't expect this of you, Nicodemus. You know the law and our customs. Are you on the traitor's side? I am on the side of this good man. You two have betrayed us. Just wait till the rest of Sanhedrin find out. You'll be expelled. Really? That doesn't matter. My conscience and my duty come first. You haven't heard the last of this. You see, when all Jesus' friends had run away in fear, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus came to his defense. That's right. We should be brave like them. Not be ashamed to pray in public or to say grace before meals. 
Never be ashamed to show you're a Catholic. It's good for everyone to know you pray. At the 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. They've just laid Jesus in the tomb. It's all over. It's been a very long and exhausting day. The women who followed Jesus are sad and tired, and they go back to their homes. Jesus has been buried, but listen. On the third day, something incredible happened. In the evening of the first day of the week, Jesus' disciples were hiding in a house in fear of their lives. And then, Jesus appeared among them and said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Forty days later, Jesus ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us at his side. Yes, we have to give thanks to God for being so good and loving us so much. To complete the way of the cross, we could say a Hail Mary. What do you think? I think that would be great. So let's ask our Mother in Heaven to help us to be better people. To put the Stations of the Cross into practice. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among, among women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hi, my name is Elsa and I'm giving up chocolate for Easter this year. Hi there everyone, I'm Emmanuel, as you probably know. <laughs> and instead of giving something up for Lent, I'm going to do a sacrifice for Lent like Jesus did. And what I'm going to do for my sacrifice is to take time away from my playtime every day of Lent so I can do my prayers like the Rosary, Divine Mercy, Our Fathers, and Hail Marys, and lots more. For Lent this year, I'm giving up overeating my favorite foods and snacks. For Lent, I will be giving up Instagram and I will be reading my Bible every day. Hi, my name is Santa, and this year I'm giving up for Lent chocolate chip cookies. I love chocolate chip cookies because it has chocolate and it's cookies. And I want to give up chocolate chip cookies because Jesus made a sacrifice. Bye. Hi, my name is Dario. I'm 13, and this year for Lent I'm going to be giving up sugar. Sugar is one of my most favorite things to eat. I'm doing this to sacrifice what I love, like how Jesus did. Hi everyone, my name is Matthew Sparks, and th this year for Lent, I'm going to be giving up pop. Pop is something that I love to drink just because, but I'm going to stop for, f for 40 days as it is a reminder of the sacrifice that Jesus made for us on the cross and what he went through before then. I want to know what you're giving up for Lent. Thank you. For Lent, I'll be giving up Instagram, Snapchat, and sugar. Hi, my brothers and sisters. I hope you enjoyed the program. I'm a little tired, aren't you? But it was fun, wasn't it? And always remember to have fun and always relish in the joy and the love of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And I ask him to bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great evening.
boys and girls, we just had a wonderful journey through the Stations of the Cross. I hope that you will join us again next week as we journey the full season of Lent every Saturday at 3 p.m. And of course, our few minutes with Connecting with Jesus and One Another at 7 p.m. with CCRC Kids. Thank you for all those who participated. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for being part of building up the kingdom. Emmanuel, what do you have to say? Yeah, Mom, I think it was great. And hey, boys and girls, I have something special to tell you. So, if you'd like, you can record a video of yourself saying what you're going to sacrifice or give up for Lent. And you can send it to us through email. And, with you and your parents' permission, if you'd like, we could post it on the next Kids Connect session.